today's video i'm going all the way to saudi arabia for the cows fellowship this is a very all-inclusive scholarship and let's see what it entails so as you see tuition free graduate program once you get admitted to this program you automatically get a scholarship some universities you get admission some will get a scholarship others wouldn't for this once you get admitted you are assured of a scholarship and hello guys and welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber i'd like to say thank you for returning hopefully i hope you get what you're looking for very soon so and what does this entail full free tuition support you get a monthly living allowance from twenty thousand to thirty thousand annually depending on qualifications and degree pro progress you get housing, you get medical and dental coverage, you even get a relocation support. And as you can see out cows, every admitted student receives a cows fellowship. So now let's look at the programs they offer. Now we know that all we need to do is to get admitted. So what are the programs they offer? So most of the programs are into the biology and engineering. So biological, environmental science and engineering division computer electrical and mathematics uh, physical science and engineering duration so most of the programs are engineering focused because obviously they have a lot of oil so most of their their programs are in this area so up to you to look through mathematics computer science plant science bioengineering just look through the program let's say computer science of interest to you all you need to do is to click on this and you explore the program to get an in-depth understanding on what the program entails so i've looked at earth science just to have a feel of what it entails if you have any questions you can submit an online query and if you are ready to apply as the applications are open so you could start applying they give you in-depth information about the program for masters and phds and one thing you should know is that is on a rolling admission and it's first come first serve so the faster you start applying for these programs the better for you so we've found we've seen the programs they offer now let's look at the deadlines and um, what they need as you can see um, on a space available basis i will really suggest you look at the admissions faqs i'm not going to cover it here but i'll suggest you look at that and this was another scholarship you could look into these all these portals are very important make time read through and understand so they need a twofold requirement of 79 if you schooled in us canada uk Ireland, Australia, or new zealand you might not require you are not required to submit this but i also suggest you go ahead and ask them if they could waive it for you it's highly they wouldn't but just give it a try and as you can see they do not require jury however if you take the test you have a higher chance so if you have the jury i advise you apply if you don't i also advise you go write it it's a very it's no it's it's money intensive but the benefits are really great so now you have to submit your official university transcripts and once you get admitted they need the original one you have to push them to them and they require three letters of recommendation we've already looked at the financial support so this is something i really want us to look at the admissions at cost so the requirements as i've already shown you they need a charge if they need your cv they need your statement of purpose i've created a lot of videos on statement of purpose i've made a lot of content about statement of purpose on twitter please go read it and write a good one three letters of recommendation to four and jerry's course now let's look at the statement of purpose what it should entail as you can see it's supposed to be 70 750 words approximately they want you to highlight your past work Preparation for the intended field of study, your relevant background and interests, academic plans and career objectives. Please describe your reasons for applying to the particular college program for which you are seeking admission. So for your statement of purpose, it should be around all these lines. So if you already have a draft of a statement of purpose, now this is the time for you to re-edit them and take away all the information that are not necessary and your we've already the letters of recommendation they've also told you what they require in the letters of recommendation they need your recommenders to compare top one percent of class best in past five years so they need all this information 
and you will only know if you visit the website and read this information then you can feed this information to your recommenders so everything you need they have it here your cv this is what they require in your cv so they told you exactly what they need now it's up to you to give them that so now finally this is a tour of the campus which is really impressive you could see how the campus looks like the library you could just choose any of the views you want to see and they will do it and one thing i also advise people so this is how the library looks like that is also important that as you are also chasing scholarship you also figure out how the country is so i also advise you do a bit of research on living in saudi arabia the cost of living how people interact with foreigners and all these things for you to finally make a decision but i think this is a a really good offer but not everybody might be interested but don't don't say no right from the start just read a bit research a bit and see if this is something that you would like if this video was helpful please leave a like if you've not yet subscribed please subscribe if you have any questions leave it in the comment section if you have any suggestions on some videos you would like me to um to make let me know i'm rooting for you and i'm hoping you get what you're looking for soon so to hear from me again